This next exercise we want to show you, this is a reverse fly. Uh, so I'm going to do a bent over raise, you can do different variations. But again, on the field for our, our athletes, especially our baseball softball players right now, taking advantage of this great tool, they can use our, we've done the external rotation, internal. Now we want to show you the reverse fly. Attach this to the fence. It's going to be about chest high for the athlete. We're going to do this one arm at a time, but you can also take a tube that has two handles and do them together. But it's working on that core strength as well as the upper back. Have them stand chest up, knees bent, body tight. We're going to take it from here. We're going out to the side. That head hand should end up just above the shoulder out wide. We don't want to turn the body. Body staying still. Come out wide, back in. And again, we're doing 10 to 15 of these. While they do the exercise, keep that head centered straight ahead. Any of the upper body exercises, they're turning their head around, good chance of going into a spasm up in the neck. So 10 to 15, move the body over, do the same thing on the opposing side. Keep that wrist nice and straight. Don't let the body turn. Stay centered, chest up tall. 10 to 15 of these each time along with the other rotational exercise will be a big change in making sure our, we have the strength that with balance that we need for our baseball and softball players. They do a lot of strength in the front, chest is strong, we're not needing the extra work there. We really need to put the extra emphasis on the upper back and shoulders to create that balance. Remember to train hard, but more important, train smart.